Hello everyone, this is LunaC05 and this is the part 3 video for the review of the AVAC and the Firebat toy, the 25th anniversary to GI Joe toys. Now, this vehicle, this plane is absolutely the same mode design uh, straight from the 1986 uh, from the Tyrodrome uh, playset. From the outer shell you can see that there's absolutely nothing changed there. Absolutely nothing changed. Even the stickers are this, uh, similar. Now, now let's talk about the stickers. Uh, some of the stickers are um, well it's just a little bit pain in the ass to apply on because there's a lot of stickers you can see from the bottom here even at the bottom from this part even at the back wings and everywhere a lot of stickers took me about 10-15 minutes just to apply them now I really love let's talk about the logo I really love the logo here the Cobra logo the Air Force logo the comes with the Cobra Cobra uh, logo with the bad wings I'm quite disappointed that the AVAC or the original AVAC that I early, uh, earlier revealed that I forgot to mention it does not come with the Air Force logo I'm quite disappointed but at least the vehicle uh, the plane for the Firebat includes it now this entire thing is quite awesome I don't even know where to start with this thing let's start with the overall outer shell design you can actually flip the wings down originally it's supposed to be uh, folded um, you can notice the wheels at the back it does not come with any landing gear because original design is, itself the, wheel, uh, the plane itself is supposed to stand like this in to inside standing inside the pterodrome base uh, in the middle of the pterodrome base itself uh, there's a uh, sort of like a, um, uh, a tunnel where you place this entire uh, plane inside the tunnel and when you want to launch it the the, the uh, how do you call those the doors will slide open when you try to pull one of those levers and then the fire bat will pop out from in the tunnel very nice so basically this, this vehicle doesn't have a landing gear itself now you know, let's look at the bottom part of the vehicle uh, the plane it has a lot of missiles four smaller missiles on the wings and two large ones uh, near the body itself there's a machine gun turret uh, below you, you can't move them they're, they're affixed and from here the back here and you have the uh, the jet propulsion you can actually remove the parts and it's the same thing from the other side so you can remove the parts here and you can see the engine for the fire bat now <clears throat> It's not entirely sa uh, the same farm back from the 1986. As you can see, they did some retooling. The cockpit itself has been ducked, uh, you can say, if you can say ducked, deeper. So the cockpit um, is made larger to fit the bit taller version for the 25th anniversary figure. So you can actually fit into the vehicle you can fit your figures into the vehicle it's a bit tight snub but you can actually fit it inside actually yeah, it is a bit tight snub oh god the entire thing just popped off but you get the picture you can actually fit in the figure oh. back then this vehicle itself you have to assemble it yourself but uh, nowadays if you just wanted to buy <laughs> the firebed uh, plane the jet it just comes out from the straight from the box you, uh, the missiles can be removed of course but anything other than that there's nothing much there's no extra gimmick not like the rice of cobra stuff so that's about it oh. so thank you for 
uh, watching this uh, video review uh, this is lunacy05 signing off and uh, just hope uh, just wait for my next upcoming future reviews